What's going on everybody? I hope you're doing fantastic as always. Today we're going to be looking at importing assets. Now in our last video we talked about how to start your first project and naturally the second thing that comes is well how do I put stuff in it and how do I get assets and things to import objects and in unity you generally could use various types of things such as gum road uh, discord groups um, various you know Google searches would take you to like free FBX sites um, and it's a little different and also the same for unreal you can still import and use all FBX or 3d model files well I don't know if you can use 3d model files maybe on that one um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about it's fine I'm just talking about the types of files that uh, can be used in Unreal for the people that might have a little bit of experience. And if you have none, that's okay. We're about to start here. Now, you're going to see a lot of price tags here, and we're going to ignore that. We're going to talk about the free stuff, because beginners generally want the free stuff, which is totally cool. Um, this is the Unreal Marketplace, and you will find... It's not just like there's bad assets that are free. Some AAA game assets are on here for free. Uh, I believe there's something like $50 million worth of free professional assets on here. The really might not be exactly what you're looking for, but there's really, really good stuff on here for free. Uh, so let me tell you how by a little bit about that. And the most important thing, this should be talked about absolutely first, because it's the most important part, is every month, I believe it's the first or second Tuesday of the month, there is free for the month paid assets. Um, as you can see here, this one was $110, and it's free. Just this one alone. This one's $75, and it was free. Obviously, I've already downloaded all these, but make sure you get these every month. Like, here's a whole weather system... A gathering resources system um, really cool stuff um, you don't know what's upcoming so you've got to check back each month now all right so that's the most important thing to talk about but let's go elsewhere so there's mega scans which is pretty important this is where you're going to grab and recognize a lot of your environmental objects from. So what I mean by that is like cliffs, trees, uh, terrain, and how you, re what an easy way to access that is just to kind of go in here and you can kind of just look through the mega scans and um, see what there is under, you know, just generally sorting through the way it is here. Although there, there is other ways to do it, and we'll touch on that in a minute. I would arguably say this is not the easiest way to sort through the mega scans. So we'll come back to this. What we're going to talk about on here is the permanently free collection. Now, unlike the free for the month, this is permanent, and hence the name. But here's where you can find all kinds of cool stuff that you don't have to pay a dollar for. Um, we want to make sure it's for 5.3 which it normally will only show what it works for on your system as long as you have that checked um but yeah you can find all kinds of stuff like this rural australia hopefully i said that right has one of the best looking uh waters in the game like in the engine excuse me for let me see if i can find it uh for like pools of water these are all screenshots so yeah there's really good stuff in here check it out look through it i'm not sure what you're going to be looking for so i can't really you know like go get this or go get this because it really depends on what you're going to be making uh and that brings us to the other way to look at mega scans which is actually in your unreal engine so let's go ahead and take a look at that and once we talk about this final way to obtain assets, we're going to talk about how to add them and get them in your project. So we're in our blank third person project that we started in the first video. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over, let's see here, where is it? We're gonna go over to Quixel Bridge. If you don't have this Quixel Bridge option, go up here to Edit, Plugins, and type bridge and make sure you have the mega scans link for quixel bridge now with that we can go ahead and open it oh goodness all right and we can look at 3d assets and kind of it's a little more easy to navigate from here although there's the same things but you can see there's all kinds of crazy stuff to choose from to use as completely free uh, for commercial or personal use in your game. And then you can just click on anything you're interested in. Go over to the quality in the bottom right. And you can download any quality you want. The highest, uh, I believe, for materials is 4k possibly 8k uh, I believe one of them is 4k and one of them is 8k on the highest end for um, assets and textures and materials that is essentially how you can do that we're not going to talk about meta humans today because those are a little different but you can get those from here too which are actually um, 3d scans of people which result in uh, extremely, extremely lifelike in-game avatars. So anyways, there's 14,573 things for you to download here, which not including the metahumans, just the assets from Megascans, which will keep you uh, busy for quite a while, and these are all free. So let's say we have it already downloaded. How do we then add it to our game? Well, it's quite simple. Once you have it downloaded, you just hit this add button. So let's go ahead and do that. So we downloaded this wooden beam and now we're gonna add the wooden beam. All right, so in our mega scan, well, okay, let's back up here. Uh, let's hit control shift to open our content browser, go to the mega scans folder, go to the assets, and find the wooden beam that we downloaded. Sorry, my computer's like a jet engine when I'm running both Unreal and OBS in 4K. Okay, so we can see we now have our wooden beam, and it has a material. And when I say material, I keep using that word. Material is uh, something that textures basically an object and why it's I don't say it's just a texture is those are separate materials can have more than one texture so there is a difference there anyways that is our wooden beam, and if we wanted to make this like bigger, we could do that. Let's say we wanted to like, I don't know, we want this to be a wall now. It's kind of clinky. Pretty nice. And just for reference, I'm not even running the game on high settings right now. If you go over here into settings on your top right, you can actually look at engine scalability settings and put it on different settings. So let's go down to low, like super low. My computer can calm down a little bit here. Doesn't look quite as good. Not probably as good for a thumbnail, for sure. And we can compare that to what this would look like on cinematic, which is right there. Oh, give it a second to render. Sometimes it has to re-render. It uses different materials for different scalability settings. See, that looks quite a bit better. It looks like there's actually splintering.
Well, all right, that is how we add from this screen. Now let's go back. Back to our market to the, actually, uh, we go back to our library because this is things we've already downloaded. Now let's say we want to add one of these to our, uh, something we've installed from here to our project. Um, let's see, let's pick a small one. Uh, I don't have many small ones. Let's choose, we'll just choose this one. So we want to add this, we click on add, and then we click on the project. So this is our YouTube project, YouTube one, add the project. And we can see here it is adding it. And it's been added, so it'll be in that same Megascans folder now. Now the only thing we want to be careful, actually it won't be in the Megascans folder, I'm sorry, because it's not a Megascans uh, add on or uh, install. Let's go look at where that will be. Sorry, it won't actually be in the Megascans folder because it was not a Megascans uh, download asset. It will be in its own folder called EP Master Materials because that's the name of what I installed. Not in the Megascans with the wooden beam. Now, finally, the third way most people get assets for their Unreal games is besides creating them from scratch would be to purchase the paid assets from the marketplace or a third-party marketplace. Uh, this works the exact same way, except for they do cost money, and as you can see, occasionally they do go on sale. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something, uh, learned how to add assets and things like that. If you did learn something, consider subscribing to my Patreon or the channel, giving me a thumbs up, a comment, just letting me know it was a useful video and thanks or something. I don't know. I would appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in the next video.